Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, fellow cadets. So, I am the cadet Lindon Pijanko Lacorte. So, for today, I will be having a report about art movement post-impressionism. So, now, what is post-impressionism? So, post-impressionism start with 1886 to 1904. It is a movement led by Paul Zizane, Vincent van Gogh, Schurat, and Gauguin. Post-impressionism got was a French art movement in which artists wanted to move away from the naturalism of impressionism and it's focused on the optical effects of light. They continued some impressionist practices like the use of pure color, but did so with a heavier and with a focus on more abstract qualities, arresting a spontaneous color and distortion of often geometric form. So, Kining post-impressionism, um, galing ito sa French art movement, who, which is the artist wanted to move away from a naturalism of impression. So, a brief history. A quick brief history of post Impressionism Impressionism was one of the first hallmark of modern American art and art was moving toward intellectual motives and sources of creation. The post-impressionists were concerned with reintroducing structure to composition and in applying or expressing greater meaning and into their paintings. Some of these ideas were shared, but this group of artists held onto their own individual thoughts and did not intend nor see this as a cohesive movement. So that was the a, brief, a quick brief history of post-impressionism. So now, post-impressionism. So, post-impressionism start 1880s to 1920s. So, the, the term post-impressionism, term coined by the British artist and Arctic critic Roger, Roger Fryer in 1910, to describe that the development of French art of since Manet. Fry applied the term while organizing the 1920s exhibition. So, that was the poster of the 1889 exhibition of paintings. So, please, post-impressionism. There are themes and forms. So, there are three themes of post-impressionism. First, the urban life. Second, landscape. And lastly, the exotic themes. So the form naman is a no single approach, rejections of illusionism, window into the world, expressive use of color, line, brush, brush stroke. So as you can see, that was the, the paint of Paul Cezanne. In, it is called the Mount Saint Victor in 1885 to 1887. So post impressionism is most often associated with five painters who were influenced by impressionism. So there are five. First, 
Paul Cezanne in 1839 to 1906. Second, Paul Gagain, 1848 to 1903. Third, Vincent Van Gogh, 1953 to 1890. So, Vincent Van Gogh was, the, was familiar of all time. Fourth, George Pierre Surat, 1859 to 1891. Then lastly, Henry Toulouse Lautrec in 1864 to 1901. So these artists were contemporaries of the Impressionists but choose not to work in the Impressionist style. So there are the characteristics of post-impressionism. Paintings include first, the rejections of restrictions of impressionism. Second, continue and exaggerated use of vivid color. Third, thick application of paint. Fourth, noticeable application of pigment or distinctive and personalized brush strokes. Contemporary subject matter and accentuation of geometric form for expressionist purpose and also the abstract form. So, post-impressionism first, the artist. Um, it is the Paul Cezanne, or Cezanne did have an impressionist period from 1870 to 1878. Even exhibiting in the first 1874 and the third impressionist shows eight. 1877, even the Cezanne's painting showed evidence of his paint intense study of his subject form nature. Impressionists painted outdoors. Post Impressionists generally brought their canvases indoors and painted them from the mirror. As you can see, this is the artwork of Paul Cezanne, and it's named just the Buffon or the pond in 9, 1876. Then, the artist Paul Cezanne in 1839 to 1906 is considered by many to be the father of 20th century experimentation. Cezanne saw through his work to paint his ideas about the nature of work. He also studied the works of artists, Delacroix and Poussin at the Louvre in Paris. His unique and unusual blending of emotions and logic proceed, proceeds rather and gives credence to expressionism and laid the foundation for all radically new art in the 20th century. He also the one of Artwork or Paul Cezanne, The Battle of Love in 1980. Idor Manit Dinjur Shur I Herbie or A Lantern on the Grass in 1863. As you can see. Cezanne's Battle of Love in Adaptation of Manet in 1863 and the Battle of Love in 1880. So, to define and make visual theories on art, Cezanne focused on a fixed mixed subject. First, the Batters, the Bay of Marseilles. Steel lights, particularly the apple, Mont Saint Victor. So this is the Bay of Marseilles in 1885. The various views of Marseilles demonstrate the revolutionary evolution in his personal style. That would give birth to abstraction. Here, his characteristic brushstrokes begin to make an appearance. Cezanne would become known for the planes of colors and 
small brush strokes used to build up the complex surface of the canvas. Like others before him, he denies the elusive precisions of depth by cutting of the scene at the sides. The overwhelming area of blue which would become inspiration of modern and contemporary artists alike dominates the scene over the natural colors of the house. Also, Paul Zizane painted in Provence where he spent the rem remaining of his life. Lighted field scene of a natural landscape, broad brush stroke, bright colors, canvas in arrangement of shapes and planes that echo throughout compressions of background and foreground. Diagonal lines of land mirrored in the design of roofs. Here is the example of Paul Zizane in Mount Sayre Victory in 1885 to 1887. And also post-impressionist acquainted the geometric abstract and exaggerated form for expressionist purpose and introduced the arbitrariness of color. So this picture shows his artwork which called the basket of apples. Also Zizane carefully arranged his still lives to create challenging and dynamic composition. Each object was strategically place to create relationship between the different elements. Each form was modulated with iconic small flat brush strokes, his shapes distorted to order, and contour loosened to address spatial tensions of the arrangements. He would often tilt the table bottles, bowls, etc. to unify color areas. This allows him to con concentrate on the relationship and tensions between objects represented. Still life drappy in picture or a fruit of bowl. Also, in the 1890s, witness Zane's brush stroke. So, as you can see, this is the paint of Paul Zane in Mount Saint Victory. Use a brush stroke abstraction. Each brush stroke dan dances across the canvas independently yet harmoniously. Brush strokes are flat, set on canvas emphasizing its surface. His work grew more expensive, his contours broken. The artist's hand is increasingly present in process. Lit left unfinished this piece was the conclusion of the artist's experimentation with a subject that occupied him for some 30 years. His brothers painted in a multiple varieties were painted from the imagination of become example for his younger contemporaries including the symbolist painters so the large brothers in 1906 which is the artist is Paul Cézanne Next George Surat in 1859 to 1991 Nin 1884 reveals new painting style, so this is the new style of painting. Painting rejected by the Salon exhibited first exhibition independent artists. Typic typical scene of leisure activities of working class. A batting place by George Surat. So, Shurat was an academically trained artist, classical enthusiast, and fan and artist including Poussin and Ingres. He took a scientific approach to a painting studying colors theory of Ugdin Rood and the mechanics of vision. This led to the development of his unique application of the paint to canvas in the form of dots or points, giving style to the little pointillism, also known as the neo-impressionism. A Sunday afternoon on the island of Lagrand Hattie in eighteen eighty four to eighteen eighty six, made by George Shurat. So a large canvas meant to function in tradition of history painting. Over twenty seven studies created in preparation of work, 
effort to create utopian vision of working and middle class. So, as I in the afternoon on the land grain in sure. Then, Vincent Van Gogh, 1853 to 1890. So, Vincent Van Gogh was familiar to me when I was grade 8, if I'm not mistaken. So, of a spiritual life, art school background in Holland, very basic, heavily influenced by Rembrandt and the heroic life of the peasant. Early palette, dark, earthly colors, work have an expressionist sensibility. The artwork of Vincent Van Gogh is titled Potato Eaters in 1885. Considered a post-impressionist, his work drew influence color palette, causing him to develop love and emphasis on color. He used color to communicate emotion in his artwork. His night cafe is prime example. For example, I have tried to express the terrible passions of humanity by means of red and green by Van Gogh. Van Gogh uses acidic color and incorrect perspective to create colostrophe phobic nightmare and frightening experience for the viewers. His use perspective anticipate the works of surrealist artists of the 20th century. So the artwork one of the artwork of Vincent Van Gogh, The Night Cafe in 1888. So Vincent Van Gogh considers his best known work is The Starry Night. This place Van Gogh's acknowledgement to to respect for his Dutch roots. So this is the Star's Night, who, who painted by Vincent van Gogh. And this is the sole portrait of Vincent van Gogh. He, this is, he is a Netherlandish tradition of portraiture. So, symbolism. Symbol, symbolist painters favor the ideal over the real symbol of conception over perception. They sought a balance between mind and spirit, though, and thought and emotion. Gustav Moreau. The, the apparition in 1876. So Gustav Moreau works predate symbolist but becomes model for the movement work combined romantic motifs in enigmatic imagery return to religious inquiry, enters in spiritual and supernatural attention to detail influence of Near East in custom and decoration. So the apparition as you can see. So, artists including Gustav Moreau are the Pierre Pouvels in Canvas in 1824 and 1898 and the Odellon Redon in 1840 to 1916 were associated with a smaller post-impressionist movement called Symbolism. So, Symbolism was an exclusive movement. It is the artist associated with a very limited circle, read specific authors, and had very different ideas about art. So, Povis de Canvas by Gustav Moreau, called Summer in 1891. High point of French symbolism in 1874 to 1880 declared a movement to 1866 look to musicians, poets, and writers for inspirations. Reaction to Darwin's evolution as early as 1858, as well as realism, impressionism, positivism, a light group of artists, stresses, subconscious and mystical feelings and emotions, interest in the mind, and subconscious before fruit improvisation on art, novo artist, in the eye like and strange balloon mounts toward. Infinity from the series of Edgar Allan Poe in 1882. So, next, Paul Gauguin. In 1848 to 1903, like many post-impressionists, 
he rejects industrialized society, leaves Faris to search for more meaningful existence in pre-industrial cultures. Like Brittany and Tahiti, search is also for purer art more authentic and direct. Found insp inspirations in inclusions of stained glass windows, abandoned wife and five children, eventually moving to Tahiti, Tahitian work shows the promise of a land that no longer existed, but appealed to his Parisian clients. This is the artwork of Paul Gagain, who named Where Do You Where Do We Came From? What Are We? Where Are We Going in 1897 to 1898. Artwork of Paul Gagain. Then Edward Munch in 1863 to 1944. This is a Norwegian symbolism influenced by Gagain's patterns and sinuous lines and Van Gogh's bold brushwork. Explores the psychological effects of modernism, elements of impressionism, any art that stresses the artist's emotional and psychological expression. Often with bold colors and distortions of form, Edward Munch, The Scream, in 1893. So Edward Munch, he painted The Scream in 1893. So Henry Dittles, The Luxury in 1864 to 1901, post impressionists, unlike the impressionists, were not afraid to paint the seedy side of modern life. Henry D. Tullis in Lautrec at the Moon Rogue in 1892. So, post impressionism top works. There are Seven. First, Femme Eau Chapio Vert by Paul Cézanne. Second, Jane Ever Leaving the Molen by Tolls Lautrec. Bedroom in Arles by Vincent van Gogh. The Starry Night, Vincent van Gogh. Couple in the Street, Charles Ingrand and Spirit of the Dead Watching by Gagain. And a Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Charette. And that's all.